Hello, welcome back. In the previous videos, we have seen uh, different kind of storages uh, in Azure, like uh, blob storage, table storage, queue storage, file storage. But uh, now we also we will see what is Azure disk storage uh, and uh, when we will use disk storage and uh, how we can utilize the Azure disk storage in what case, right? So we will understand in detail uh, with a uh, short demo also. Before proceeding, if you are uh, new to this channel and haven't have subscribed for this channel, please do uh, subscribe and also uh, don't forget to press bell button for instant notifications. So let's get started. So as you can see here, I am inside the storage account and uh, if you see, we don't, we have option of containers which is blob for blob storage and uh, we have option of file, st file share, queue and tables. But you don't see option of uh, disk storage here, right? So th this will uh, not, uh, I mean, immediately uh, or uh, by default come uh, in the storage account. What the disk storage? What we are talking now? So in the demo, we will see where we find where we can find the disk storage and how we can provision that. But uh, so hope this this point you understand that uh, it is not in the storage account. You cannot see that directly here. Okay, so this is not listed uh, as per the storage account when we create it. So let us see in that demo where we see that. Before that, uh, before the demo, basically we'll understand theoretically what uh, the disk Azure disk storage is, right? So let's understand Azure disk storage in detail. So whenever you create a virtual machine, so virtual machine uh, in Azure, right? So or uh, say for say for matter like you're creating any virtual machine, not only in Azure, take it generally you're creating Azure, uh, you're, you're just creating a virtual machine, right? Uh, so whenever you create a virtual machine, so definitely it, it needs to have an operating system. So whether you choose a Windows, Linux or Mac, but definitely a virtual machine uh, should have a, one kind of operating system. And that operating system physically has to store somewhere, right? So that should be stored in a disk. Okay. So operating system uh, as a storage, it needs a storage, right? So that will go and store in a disk. So that, that we call it as an OS disk where it actually, the, uh, where the OS uh, will go and uh, get installed in this disk, right? And there might be... Uh, uh, we can have other kind of uh, data also, right? Like apart from OS, we can have uh, some kind of files uh, apart from OS that we want to store. We can utilize the same disk or we can uh, provision some uh, new number of disk, uh, many number of disk for storing the data disk, uh, data. so that we can call it as a data disk. So ideally, one virtual machine can have only one OS disk, okay? And it can have many data disks. So that is the whole concept. So uh, this is very important to understand. And uh, you can see here, this is a typical example of how Azure data storage looks like. So you have virtual machine and virtual machine will need a disks. So it may be one disk or 10 disk, uh, a number of disks. So for that uh, data, I mean, uh, to store, a, uh, it needs a storage, right? So that storage will be given by Azure data disk, disk storage basically. So this is Azure data disk uh, and inside this, we can have a number of disks and the same disk will be linked to the virtual machine. So, and they can, they can utilize this uh, for, as we mentioned, for OS, for uh, any kind of uh, data you can store here and uh, so on, right? So main advantage, as you can see here, is you can add n number of disks, such disks. So suppose you need, uh, today you need only OS disk, tomorrow you might need uh, one data disk, and uh, after that you might need uh, 10 data disks. So you can just scale it up uh, with number of disks. So that's the uh, I mean, advantage of uh, using a, using the Azure data disk storage here. So uh, since it is a managed uh, thing, right, managed storage, so that is advantage, uh, you can scale it anytime and uh, I mean, descale it also whenever it is not needed. Right. And uh, so it is like, as we mentioned, it can store the operating system, it can store the application data and uh, like a normal kind of uh, user data, right? And uh, also one one OS disk and uh, multiple data disk, as I was mentioning, right? So that is the concept. And uh, these are called virtual hard drives. Each uh, disks are called virtual hard drives because these are like hosted in cloud, right? Azure. So that's why they're called as, called as a virtual hard drives because they act as a, uh, hard drives, but they are in a cloud. So that's why we are calling it as virtual. And uh, they stored as a format of .vhd, that is uh, virtual hard drive files, as blob storage in a storage account. So if you see the previous videos, we have talked about uh, the page blob also. So this is one of the type of the blob. So this vhd files will be stored as a blob storage in storage account. Okay. And uh, unmanaged disk, what is unmanaged disk? So again, when we are talking about disk storage, there are two types of uh, uh, options you have. You can uh, choose to have unmanaged disk where you will have to uh, provision the disks, okay, and uh, you will have to link those to the virtual machine manually. So that is called an unmanaged disk. In another ca another case, you don't uh, create this disk storage. So you just uh, create a virtual machine and uh, just ask Azure uh, to create the uh, create the disk storage at the background, okay. 
at that time you don't actually worry about the creating the disk storage and uh, other things right so you just uh, link it with uh, you just create a virtual machine and tell azure to uh, provision it and uh, it will take care of scaling descaling whatever we are talking about so that is the managed disk disk uh, so we can we can have two options here so hope this is also uh, you understood so this is also important to understand the difference and we can see these options in the demo as well uh, let's go to the next slide so like unmanaged we got to know uh, there are two types of uh, unmanaged and managed and uh, unmanaged we got to know so we don't have to manage anything azure will take care of it so we do not have to uh, think what type of uh, this type of uh, uh, disk storage we have to choose and other things right but when we choose a manually that means uh, we are manually creating a disk storage and we want to link that to the virtual machine in that case uh, there are different options uh, that we call it as a managed disk types these are the different types of uh, managed disks so uh, here we can see the options and these options can be uh, chosen based on certain uh, use cases or the requirement that you have so basically if you are just uh, starting with some basic testing or you are doing some pocs okay and uh, there is we just are uh, doing some uh, like non critical things right so in that case you can go for a standard hdd is a hard drive hard disk drive and uh, if you are uh, having some kind of uh, dev test environment uh, so this is also not much critical okay so but you want some certain uh, perf good performance uh, some decent performance then you can choose a standard ssd uh, solid state drive uh, this is definitely more expensive than compared to the this standard H uh, hdd and uh, next when you have some kind of a uh, uh, production uh, thing right so you want to deploy something in production and you want to have a mission critical application hosted and you want the performance is really critical so then you go for a premium ssd uh, and the last option is ultra disk ssd where uh, so this is this is you would say like this is not a more advanced than premium uh, ssd but this is like something where you have a certain use case uh, especially you have a use case of uh, input output intensive workload so where there is a lot of transactions where you are uh, write, reading and writing the to a database or uh, file storage at a uh, every second so you have a transactional use case in that case uh, you will go for ultra disk ssd so now as part of the demo so uh, we are in the azure portal and i'll go to the storage account so as we were mentioning right so you won't see that disk uh, storage here by default in the storage account that we have created so in this case like uh, what we need to do how, how we are supposed to create a disk storage is so just type in disks here disk here uh, in the search bar so you can see here all the disks that you are created or you want to create uh, you can come here and create it so i don't have any disk created uh, so i can just click on create so here uh, it will open up this and uh, you can create a you can choose a resource group and you can give the disk name and all, all of these options and uh, you have uh, i mean you can just keep this as the default and just go ahead and create this uh, disk so this is actually you are directly creating a disk so this is one of one of the option right so the other option is uh, what we can do is we can just go to the virtual machine okay so here i'll try to create a virtual machine and uh, when we trying to create a virtual machine here so it will ask the in the next tab if you can see there is an option of disk so uh, this option of disk is definitely uh, there are different types right as we were mentioning uh, in the slides so one is operating system disk so this is like a mandatory we have to have one operating system disk and uh, you can go ahead and add multiple data disk so here you can create a multiple disk so whenever you create a disk here manually so that will come actually uh, that will be listed in this uh, disk uh, menu right and uh, so yeah i mean uh, i think you can under uh, you understood uh, one thing here that uh, you have option of creating the disk in uh, two uh, ways one is directly create the disk here and then attach that disk so you can attach the existing disk or you can create a new disk so you can create the disk here and come back and attach here or you can directly create uh, by this whenever you are uh, choosing the when you are creating a virtual machine here also you can choose to create and uh, so this is about uh, like a managed uh, thing right so everything is happening in the in the background that means uh, there is no you are if you note that you are not creating any storage account here for others like uh, block storage and uh, file storage queue storage table storage you are creating a storage account and inside storage account everything was uh, created right but here if you note you are not created any storage account so that means it is completely managed by azure itself uh, internally it will create a storage account and uh, you will not know what is the storage account name or what exactly it is doing behind so that we call as a managed so if you see here this is managed uh, already checked that means it is a managed storage right so again when we are talking about uh, so i'm just unchecking the uh, unchecking this right here if i uncheck this okay so this is nothing but unmanaged so unmanaged in the sense uh, i want to manually create a storage account uh, or i want to manually link to the particular storage account which is already existing or create new from here so this is like uh, if you see here uh, this is actually uh, uh, 
uh, almost uh, not recommended by Microsoft option and it is a very old option to use. So usually you can uh, keep it uh, managed whenever you're creating a new uh, disk storage. So this is a recommended option. And uh, we can also discuss about these points, which we already discussed in the slides, right? So whenever you have a uh, very low requirements and low latency required, and you can choose the standard HDD. And for a production uh, and uh, business critical, you can choose uh, for standard and uh, premium also. If there are very uh, business critical things that uh, require high performance, right? So then you can go for the uh, premium SSD. So this this we already discussed in the slides. Okay. Uh, so we hope uh, by now I think you have understood what is the way of creating the disk and how we are attaching those disks to the virtual machines. So just to quick recap, so you can create a disk here also. Just go and create the disk, and once you create the disk here. You can come and uh, link uh, that disk in the in the, uh, in the virtual machine here. Uh, you can see. Yeah, we go to the next tab and you can just link that manually uh, here. Just you can uh, link it here, or uh, you can just create it from here also. So uh, one thing is very clear here: disk storage is meant only for the virtual machine. So it is not uh, meant for any other use cases, right? It is very clear and it's very simple. So whenever you want there is a concept of virtual machine then only disk storage will come into picture and uh, not any other time so i uh, hope this is very simple use case and hope you understood thanks for watching